What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are at Great American Ballpark here in Cincinnati, Ohio, home of the Cincinnati Reds. And today, we are going to see game three of the Brewers at Reds. Now, last night, the Reds got it handed to them as they lost the ball game by the score of 7-3. to three. And today, we have Adrian Hauser on the mound for the Brew Crew and Miner on the mound for the Reds. So hopefully we'll see some home runs here today. Should not be busy. It might be because this Father's Day today. So maybe some commemorative baseballs uh, I could go and uh, snag for us today. But yeah, it should be a great day at the ballpark. And I can't wait to get in here and see this place. So let's do it. can purchase a special ticket package that includes an exclusive bobblehead of my time, the elephant, one of the zoo's oldest and most famous animals. Purchase your ticket for this offer to receive the bobblehead. Go to reds.com. Please know that the game experience at Great American Ballpark is enhanced by the use of pyrotechnics as well as strobing of the ballpark light towers. Fans with visual or hearing sensitivities should be aware. So we have made it into the stadium successfully with the camera. Now we are headed over to the brewer side and see if we can get a baseball from the brew crew. Beautiful day for a ball game. I really like it thus far. Only been in here for about, I don't know, like a minute, but looks really nice. Great history here in Cincinnati when it comes to uh, their ball players, Pete Rose, Johnny Bench, Ken Griffey Sr. and Ken Griffey. See if we can snag a ball, so let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, boss. There's a thumbnail. All right. Kathy, here. Take a picture with us. Ryan, look. What'd you get? What'd you get? Take a look. Take a look. Dude with the Jeff Big Neal walk off against them. Let's go. Well, Let's get it, boys. We got his autograph. We got the autograph. And a photograph. And a photograph. And a thumbnail. Let's go. Look at this dude. He's nicer than Nimmo. Yes. Nicest man in baseball right there. Subscribe to MLB Chatterbox. Let's go, baseball. baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Thank you, you man. Yeah, you Appreciate it. it. I got on video, too. Yes, sir. That was sick, dude. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. So, Joey Votto, thoughts, feelings? Well, my boy Brent hooked me up. Jeff McNeil's enemy. Let's get it. Joey Votto's not that friendly. I'm not I'm gonna be lying. He's not that friendly. I don't know. I don't know. He ignored us. He ignored us. So, as you can see here, I got some nice shots of the Reds starting pitcher Mike Miner playing some long toss pregame. And I must say, the weather was beautiful. But I personally would not have minded some cloud cover or a slight breeze because although it was only 80 degrees, it felt like 90 sitting out in the bleachers with full exposure 
to the blazing sun. Well, guys, I tried. I went over there right before the game, put on my Bruce cap. I was close to the uh, starting pitcher, Hausner, Adrian Hausner, so he was giving it to the kids a little farther down the uh, right side, but you never know. Maybe I'll go by the bullpen, see if I can get a toss up there, but no ball yet, no ball yet, but we did get a ball signed that we already brought. That was kind of cool. And I got a player to say subscribe to MLB Chatterbox, so... That was cool, and it would be even more cool if you watching this right now would do so as well. Because baseball players love MLB Chatterbox. So if you want to be just like a baseball player, go subscribe to MLB Chatterbox. I talk about baseball news, stories, discussions, debates, blogs like this all season long. So go subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And uh, it's almost game time. Let's do it. Screw the shift. It sucks. That's That's good. 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 That's Fine play by the old sport. Fine play. Stranded two on. McCutcheon makes at least a run scoring catch. Dive and makes the catch. Going to the second inning scoreless still. Only one hit for the Reds. He knows what he threw. I guess he loves Chuck. He pitched here, right? Yeah. Alright guys, so Hayden has a very special item of food here called the Cheese Coney. We've seen Zach Cabell eat it before. He claims it's the best. Let's see how it is. Thoughts? Pretty good. Pretty good? I'm liking it. Liking it? Hot dogs, some chili, some cheese. Six dollars a piece. Can't go wrong. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm going to get one myself. Uh, pretty small, actually, but is it too cheesy? Is that the question? Is it too cheesy? That's about right. Yeah? A few moments later. All right, guys, so I'm going to try this coning. See what it's all about. First time, let's do it. Pretty good. I like it. Small, but I like it. I mean, four bucks, whatever. It's all right. That's every game, right? I, I am a fan, I will say. It's a very, very good Coney. So right there, Luis Arise uh, drove in Andrew McCutcheon from second base. Line drive down the left field side, as you saw. It is now one to nothing, Brew Crew in their half of the fourth. So Brewers take an early one to nothing lead here in Cincinnati over the Red Legs. All right, so I know I just did an update a moment ago with the earliest double, but apparently they had a home run right after. So what happened? Yeah, Victor Carantini. Him for him, I don't know, probably 30 feet in that direction, drove in him and Luis Urias. So I know I just said it's 1 nothing Brewers, but now it's 3 nothing Brewers. All because Tommy Sam couldn't catch the McCutcheon hit, but I don't know, I thought that was gone. It landed like right over there. I'm like, oh, that's gone, but hit off the wall and I don't know, couldn't connect, I guess. So uh, mm. Brewers are on top once again, and as you can tell, Reds fans are uh, not happy about it. Their team sucks. There's a Come 
Action, you're out of your prime, dog! Come on, man! Yeah, you gotta look in the air, man, come on! I don't know what it is, but every single game I've been at, I've been to like probably five games where Almore has played, and he's he's got like doubles, triples. I don't know what it is. Besides, he was a trashy player with the Mets last year. I went to the Mets and Marlins game in Miami, and he got two triples. Just like, I don't know. I think it was good luck charm. All right, so by the way, that last one scored was via Albert Elmore Jr. He hit a uh, line drive down the left side that scored uh, two. Two. Tied the game. Two. Tied the game. 3-3. Three, three. So pretty good game so far. Hot day. Nice day. Sun's out. No clouds. We're roasting out here. It's only 75, but it feels like 95, to be honest. There for the Reds. Reds, babe. Let's go. Go Cincinnati. I say safe. Council, you just wasted a challenge. You so out safe. What do you think? What do you think? Safe. Safe on the play. Let's see what the umpires have to say in New York. To be a quick challenge. I don't know that. Okay, we know it's safe. Yeah, safe by a mile. Let's go. Yo, Craig Council, get back to the dugout, you bum. Come on, Joey. Ah. Oh. Let's go, Joey! You mother! Sell the team! Thoughts on the Joey Votto strikeout? That was brutal. He got bases loaded, morale's high, and swinging two pitches. Called first one a strike, foul second one off. Take a pitch, and then strike three. That's rough. Yeah. McGuck or Burr is better. Ah, here comes the bullpen boy. All right, Fireman coming in. That was a two run homer, Hunter Renfro. It is now six to three, Crew Crew. Tommy Fam. Yes, sir. Tommy. The only thing you hit is Jack Peterson. High roller in Vegas, huh? Wow. Catch it. Oh! And the Brewers win. Well, guys, that is it from Cincinnati. Uh, the Reds fall. By the score of six to three. At the end there, I was giving a little uh, heckle session to my favorite player, Tommy Pham. Yeah, he's a he's a great guy. And apparently, a uh, fan next to me, a uh, diehard Reds fan, didn't like it too much. In a uh, more appropriate tone, he told me to shut up. So I told him, well, at least I'm not a Reds fan. I'm not stupid. And he got pretty mad with that comment, but that's okay. The Reds are a terrible organization, but a beautiful ballpark. But uh, it's unfortunate what the owners have done to this franchise. We have passionate people here in Cincinnati, but, you know, whatever. They uh, they blew it, I think. I mean, just been an unfortunate past couple years for the Reds, but uh, overall, good game. If you like this vlog, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts um, of these now three vlogs I have uh, shown to you guys here on my YouTube channel. It's been a fun uh, week or so doing these things with my buddy Hayden and uh, Mets Talk. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel. He'd appreciate it. Although he doesn't want to be in the vlog right now. He's a little tired. Sun got to him. Oh, there he is. There he is. Very, very, very tired. I got sunburned. 
I'm just I'm I'm proof, that's all. But it was a nice nice field, no? Yeah, it's a nice ballpark. I mean it's it has that like historic uh, nostalgia, I guess. I mean, it's franchise. It's in '69, so you don't see that for many ball clubs. So I mean, right. listen, they may not be the best of teams now, but I mean, baseball, you know, it's unpredictable. But hey, at least the fans the time go, around. Go, go. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Go. Oh, we see our friendly, uh, friendly friends from the friendly confines of the Cubs. But no, yeah, it was a good game. But as always, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and. Uh, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.